ladies and goths. Well, you know, it is a bit, isn't it? Uh, so, yes, another uh, point I do like a pointy guitar, a little pointy guitar. And this one's quite interesting, tells a bit of a story. So, let's have a listen first, and then I shall tell you what I can about it. Right, let's go. <laughs> Seymour Duncan that is popping out ridiculous homage. Uh, so <laughs>
this cleans up. And uh, starting again with the bridge. <laughs> Product, just in case you're wondering what ESP uh, was telling us, um, it is really, really nice. I like it, I, I actually like it a lot more than I thought I might. Uh, so, you will uh, note that on the headstock, we will have a look from stem to stern. You'll note on the headstock that it says LTD. No surprises what uh, that uh, is short for, of course, that is limited. And so, ESP, Electronic Sound Products, from what I can gather, the info's a little bit sketchy out there. But, uh, ESP is sort of the Japanese arm uh, of them, which produces the premier range of instruments. And there are some that are made in America. But I don't actually know where the company originates from. I'm sure that you will out there, so please write in and let me know. I love hearing from you, as you know. And uh, uh, yeah, so the limited ones are the, from what I can gather, are the, you know, more affordable uh, end of their range. But all the same, make no, make no mistake, they are still absolutely brilliant and they come stuffed with, uh, stuffed with uh, goodies. So, let's have a look at this one. Now, uh, around the front, of course, tells you what it is. Um, basically, around the back, you will note that uh, whatever tuners were there originally have been swapped out for some rather nice German showers. Uh, so that's a nice little quality touch. That's, now, that is actually what I call an upgrade. Normally, upgrades mean you've ruined it. And, uh, by the way, we'll get on to that in a minute. Uh, but in this case, uh, I would have to say that that's, that that's a nice thing to have. Nice, uh, nice set of showers up there. Lovely stuff. Um, neck, well, again, you know, this is from 2002. As the, as the serial number doesn't tell you. So, uh, this E prefix serial number uh, doesn't conform to any of the norms you see and um, in fact it's not listed in the you know where was my ESP LTD made and now E on the uh, on your squires certainly uh, indicates that your squire no it's not a squire uh, certainly indicates that your squire was made in the Vesta factory which I believe is, you know, quite well, well famous, very, very well uh, respected. Um, so it is. So we have, yeah. So it's bolt on neck. It's bolt on neck. I think it's. I think it. I think it could be anything, couldn't it? Your chances are that it's going to be either maple or mahogany. I would go for because the LTDs do use, you know less expensive tone woods. Uh, so it's probably a maple neck, but it's painted black, so you, who knows, it could be anything. Um, now, certainly a Rosewood fretboard, I'd say, 
22 medium jumbo frets. But have a look at the dot inlays. They are, surely they've got to be Necra, haven't they? They are definitely, definitely shimmery. And they've got, a, there's an awful lot of colour going on in those. Uh, what the uh, 12th fret marker material is made of, I don't know. Um, and th and so, although the serial number doesn't tell you what year it is, the EX102 was only made in 2002. So that makes dating it pretty straightforward. So yes, a bolt-on neck indeed. Um, I don't know. There's a, the chunk, uh, chunk bin. Well, it's been painted over as well, hasn't it? We've got any other, oh, yeah. There's a bit of, a bit of bare material. There's a bit of bare material here on the corner. Oh, I don't know, it could be anything, couldn't it, really? Pro uh, Agatha is quite light. So, I don't know, probably basswood, I suppose. Uh, could be, could be maple, could be any, could be any old thing, couldn't it? Um, again, so, uh, decent bit of hardware there. Stop tail tunematic. You've got a three position toggle switch, which, you know, takes you from one place to the other. And the pickups have certainly been uh, removed and replaced. Because what it should have is a pair of EMGs, EMG Hertz's. Uh, I think, uh, well, obviously we can tell that the bridge position is certainly uh, a Seymour Duncan, Duncan Seymour, whichever way around it is, I never remember. Um, and I think that, and I think that the neck one is as well. The neck one popping out pff, late sevens, and the bridge popping out, you know, 14, 14, 14 the bit which is really, really nice and makes an awful lot of sense for a rock kind of guitar. Um, and, and really, <laughs> that's kind of it for your fixtures and fittings. Is there anything else that I've <sighs> missed to mention? It's pointy. <sighs> Bit of hairspray, I think, on there. Mm, traces of spandex on the lower horn. No, it's a, and they and they are really really good to play. Uh, so we've got this, uh, we've got the action down to just slightly less than one point two five at the twelfth, and um, and whilst it's a good guitar to play, it could be a better guitar to play because Jake wanted elevens on it. I can only assume he's going to do drop infinity uh, because they're ridiculously thick and apparently this is what Joe, ba Joe Bonamassa uses all the time, 11s. And they, do, and they're just, you know, you're fighting with them all the time. It's not an, not an easy ride. So, um, I'm not, a, I'm not a big fan of those, but that's the string, not the guitar. And I'm pretty sure that, um, it would be more joyful with, uh, lighter gauge strings on it, even if you, you even even tens will be an improvement on on these girders. So um, yes, anyway, yes, lovely thing. Uh, it does play well. It does play well. Uh, like I said, they're only made in two thousand and two. If you can find one, you'll be really really lucky. Um, we mentioned the we should mention the volute, shouldn't we? The volute is definitely worth a shout out. Lovely big fat thing that. So, yeah, if you can find one, you will be lucky. Make sure that if you, you know, just make sure all the electrics work. Uh, you always want to have a look around this area because on bonton on necks, it's, <laughs> you get it more with strats, to be fair, than um, odd shaped guitars. But, you know, you, we, we're, we're always, always, always looking at the head neck area and the neck body area and just like I say just make sure the electrics work if you can find out about the string height that's always a lovely thing to know and with that I shall say thanks all ever so much for having a look and uh, I'll see you on the next one take care adios amigos ta -ra.